Hey guys, welcome to Raw and Uncut, the video segment which I started last week where I talk about movie news and other things that are on my mind without ever cutting, which may end up embarrassing because if I make a goof, you guys see it. So let's begin already. Today we're talking about Spider-Man and the Oscars, but more importantly Spider-Man because I like Spider-Man more than the Oscars because Spider-Man is my all-time favorite superhero of all time. But quick Oscar discussion. Seth MacFarlane, he was a great host. He was certainly a long mile shot better than James Franco, who was probably high the whole time, and Anne Hathaway last last year. No offense to them, but I would like to see Seth MacFarlane return for another one next year, like Billy Crystal used to do back in the day. He had a lot of good jokes. A couple were distasteful, like the Chris Brown joke, but I found that funny. And there was, he had a lot of good segments, too. The uh, sock puppet thing with Flight was one of the funniest Oscar segments I've ever seen ever as I've watched them for the past 10-15 years. Um, dresses. I'm not an e-commentator, so I'm not going to talk about dresses that much, but uh, some people looked really sexy last night, first of all. Anne Hathaway. Nipples. Moving on. Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain. She... Emma Stone. Nobody can replace Emma Stone. She's my wife. But... Jessica Chastain, she's, she is something, she's a goddess. She is a freaking goddess. And Jennifer Lawrence, she also was hot. Jennifer Lawrence also won for Best Actress, which good for her. She has a long, prosperous career, uh, prosperous career ahead of her. It's going to be great. Arlo won Best Picture. Ben Affleck induced one of the greatest Oscar-winning speeches I've ever seen in my life. It really inspired me. And even though he was like the whole time, he actually invoked some, you know, inspiration and aspiration within people. And I saw Steven Spielberg when he gave a shout out to him and he was like, what? I didn't hear you because you're stuttering too much. But anyway, good for Ben Affleck, good for the crew of Argo, that movie, even though I did love it after the first time around, it's a great movie and deserved the accolades it got. Thank God Lincoln didn't win. Also, Life of Pi, Ang Lee, Best Director. Different choice. I thought, like, someone else was going to win, but good for him. I met him when I saw Life of Pi, by the way. Ego-inducing. Yeah. Also, why did Brave win Best Animated Feature? Frankenweenie or Paranorman. I didn't even see those movies, but they deserved it more than that movie. And even Wreck-It Ralph. But just be is it because... Is Pixar paying money to the Oscars, Academy Awards, or the Academy Awards people? The people who are involved in that... Are they, like, high? Because I don't think they do drugs. But maybe they were just really mesmerized by the hair of the main character in Brave. I didn't see Brave, but her animation with her hair, good stuff. Anyway, going into The Amazing Spider-Man. Today was the first legitimate day that they filmed in Manhattan. And I'm not going to go visit Brooklyn sets, but whenever they film Manhattan and I'm not having college or masturbating or doing other things like that, I will be going to Manhattan to watch. And they filmed on 49th Street in between 10th and 11th Avenue, and they filmed in an alleyway. And at first, as you could see here, covered up with security, all these giant white screens, and you couldn't see shit. But then, as you got on, they would remove things, and you'd get little subtle hints and peeks of what's going on, and they released a new costume today, which I'll get into a little bit later, but let's talk about the set first. I saw the Spider-Man costume in person, far away, and I had to peek under the screen to look at it, but when I did see it, oh, I freaked out, to say the least, in my head. I didn't do, I didn't do this over there, because people would be like, he's having a stroke, but yeah, really amazing. So let's see, they filmed, this was, this is what it seemed to be when I was there, because all this news was happening on, online too, but I was seeing it in person, they were filming a scene Maybe it might be part of a montage, or who knows, where Spider-Man is chasing down a thief who is wearing a mock-up Spider-Man costume that's really inferior to his own, and apparently he takes off his mask and he runs, he flies away, um, swings away. He ha the suit looked awesome, but in the scene he's hanging upside down, which in a classic pose too, which was really cool, and it just. The whole atmosphere of that alleyway, from what I could see, it looked very Spider-Man-like and very comic book-like. And the fact that they're filming, like, 85% of this movie in New York, 
is fascinating. That's just, it's never happened before, I don't think. I don't even think with the Sam Raimi movies they did that. And I think that's just going to be really cool because it's going to set the tone and the atmosphere for this movie if you see all the authenticity and legitimacy of New York City. It's going to be really cool. Um, what am I going to... I stood there for three hours watching it and I took some pictures. It got really cold and I left... But apparently Andrew Garfield's trailer was a block away, and some some pe some lucky people met them. Some lucky people met him. Andrew Garfield is not multiple people, and now I kind of regret not staying. Ugh, but next time they're going to be filming this movie for the next two or three months, so I will get the chance. Emma, I will meet you. I promise you that. Andrew, you too. You down to earth son of a bitch. So now, the costume. It looks eerily similar to Sam Raimi's costume. The only major significant difference that we could see from that picture and from what I saw on the set, which I barely saw it anyway, but I got some good glimpses of it from person, not from the camera's perspective. Big eyes. Very ultimate-like. And it was it's really awesome. I think the costume so far, it, it's definitely a milestone for The Amazing Spider-Man. Even though I have problems with this movie, I love it, and I, th I did dig the costume for it, but it did have to improve for the sequel, and it, th it does look really similar to the Sam Raimi costume, and people might say it's a ripoff, but really, what else can you do to the costume before you start going into a boundary zone or a lane that's just really off-putting and obscure? You don't want to do too much to the costume where it just looks really weird, like, oh, they're really trying to be different and differentiated here. There's a line, and thankfully they didn't cross it, they stayed in the boundary of people enjoy because the Sam Raimi costume, obviously they respect, they respect that costume because it's probably the best costume for any superhero movie. In my, in my opinion, it's one of the best. And all they really did was give, they gave the texture a little different feel and they changed the eyes significantly. And it looks very substantial, but those eyes are awesome. They're white, they look like the classics, and my little baby self just went like this! Yeah. Okay. I'm just looking at my sheets here and I have nothing else to say. But, yeah. Still looking out for Electro and Rhino, Paul Giamatti and Jamie Foxx. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're hanging. They're still, maybe they're still hung over from their Oscar parties. I'm sure Jamie Foxx is because that guy's a player. Paul Giamatti might be somewhere reading a book. But whenever they are on set filming Fighting Spider-Man, hopefully in Manhattan, somewhere close, and I don't have college, I want to be there for that. Oh. But had a really interesting day today, and apparently people had their eyes peeled on my tweets because I was tweeting all day about it, and then I got like 20 followers, so welcome you guys to my Twitter account. But yeah, hope having that pressure was kind of weird. But anyway, what are we at? Eight minutes here? Okay. I think that's it. This is the second edition of Raw and Uncut. I don't think I had that many stutters or pauses, but there wasn't that much to talk about today. I had a great day on the set for Spider-Man, and the Oscars were one of the best Oscars I've seen in a while. It's been kind of cringeworthy the last couple of years. This this year was a step in the right direction, and I would like to see Seth MacFarlane return as the host because he was really good, and he could possibly definitely, no, definitely improve for next year's seg. So, I am John Maffio, also known as Mothman Jones. If you enjoyed Raw and Uncut, or you enjoy me... Because I'm so spectacular, uh, amazing, uh, amazing Spider-Man, there's the pun! Please subscribe and like this video down below. Also check out Facebook, Twitter, and We Live Film in the info box. I am John Maffio, I already said that. See you next time. Woo!